Hi, my name is André Lage, and today I'm talking about Microsoft Lists. Today's sample is how can we create a submenu inside our own role. For this, I have a support list called Submenu, and already included the first uh, item on this list. Let's start with the design of our submenu. Today's sample is about the formatting, so there is a lot of HTML and the CSS inside the JSON itself. So I will try to do everything in one line and one shot. First thing I, I do is to access to the formatting area. Access to the top right, expand it and click Format Current View. Click Advanced Mode, go to your JSON and let's start to work. The first thing that I will, we can do is to remove the selection area, this option here. As you can see, it's not working anymore. The second part is to start to format all this row with the new style itself. The first thing that we do is to define the new div area. Inside this div area is where we're going to include our, the, our drawings. In this case, it's all this area we're going to have inside this div, the, the working and the design area. For this example, I'm going to create a, a circle that will simulate uh, the options where, where you can select the, the submenu items itself. In this case, I'm going to choose the, the div with some styling, where we're going to define the width as 32 pixel and the height with the same height. Thirty-two pixel. After that, we need to define the border, where we start to look how our box, uh, where our area will appear. In this case, solid, and then I will define some gray. Let's see how everything appears. Okay, we have a square. Now let's put it rounder, and for that we need to define the border radius, and for that we gave it a fifty percent. Right now we have our own circle itself. Let's give it a more interaction itself. It's always important to define that the users can click on this option itself. In this case, we go to the cursor and we define a pointer. And we have here our hand to be able to, to be selected. Let's start to create the zoom menu area itself. For that, we should use custom card properties and he will define what will happen when we click on this uh, uh, button. A card will appear with some predefined formatting. In this case, th this is the area where our submenu will appear. So let's go with the styling of how this area should appear. We're going to include a padding that will create some space where we can include our custom uh, menu items. So we're going to define a text px. Right now, just save it. And then we go to create our sh children area. So not this area here, so but this area here. Uh, where are we going to define our submenu options? We're going to define not the shima. But, for example, we're going to define the name where we say that it edit properties itself. Properties. And for that we need to associate a row action. In this case, everything is already preloading by the JSON editor itself. So, we can choose the edit properties. Let's see how this will appear. I click save. I click on our circle and the edit properties will appear. When I click it, the, the right panel uh, is expanded with the ability to edit the properties. This is great. So let's go and include some additional styling. In this case, I'm going to include some cursor because it's always, always, this is extremely important. Uh, it's always important that users should be able to know if they should be able to click it or not. In this case, it's what the action that I'm doing. We just return and the the handle the, the handle will appear 
giving the feeling that the user should be able to click on this property. Let's go to the next option. We just copy paste the same area that we work it. We give a comma and we copy paste it. We change the text and we can go include the following option, deletion. As you saw before, one of the options that was available was the delete option itself. Let's save it. When we save it, you see the option is there, but it's not too nice look and feel itself. So what can we do? If we go to the area where the zoom menu is included, so before we create the zoom menu options, we're going to define the display as inline block. And then, as you can see, we start to have the items in a, a vertical position, what is great. So, what we need to do now? So, we have the edit properties, deletion op uh, properties. Let's in all include one more additional properties itself. So, we're going to keep this. We define this option and we say copy link. And then we just go and say what option can we choose. We say share. Okay, now we have three different options. When we click on the copy the link, we will be able to copy the link using the out of the box properties itself. Now, but we're going to create an action that we can help us support a content that we want to use. In this case, we're going to create a number. And this will be called count. We're going to define zero and the default also going to be zero. Right now, we're going to or edit the properties, it's just confirm with the zero position. What, we, what can we do now? Right now, we can include some actions. We have the support column, we want to do some associated actions that we want to visualize below. So, let's go to our current formatting. Below the circle, I'm going to include the number of the count. So, I'm going to my area where the, the circle is defined and he will tell me when it's going to start and when it's going to end. As you can see here, there is a small focus making the reference of this uh, content. What I'm going to do is to create a new area where the, the count will be displayed. So, the first thing I need to do is to create the area where the count value will be displayed. Then I define the text and then I will define the column, the new column that was created. Let's see if the value appear. We have it here, zero. I'm just going to give some space, style. And then I am going to include a padding of 15 pixels. Let's see what will happen. Okay, we have the zero more on our right itself. So, what can we do now? We can create a new option that will update this zero and will increment it itself. And for that, we can create using our submenu. And for that, we're going to create a new subarea below the, our last action, in this case is the copy item itself. And then we're going to define some actions. Let's create something more uh, interesting. So, we create the element type and we say div and then we can create the custom action associated. And on the action we're going to say set the value. When we say set the value, we need to say we're going to update a column. In this case the column will be count. And we're going to make an update on the value of the count. For that, we need to say equal the name of the count that we want to... Uh, we need to pick the field that we want to make the count and we're going to put plus one. We save it. We go to the options. I, I forgot one important uh, 
information and this is the text that should appear account plus one we save it we return and we click it as you can see the value was included plus one plus two in a very straightforward way and using these options we will be we are able to change and update the fields they are associated and with this sample we can create a very simple way uh, to create our sub menu and sub options that will have impact on the visualization of your list and that's all for today on this example in a very straightforward way you can create your own sub menu thank you bye bye